Inside this star like the ones you have seen, I'll tell you a story you must see to believe. Colorful lights line the whole town, bringing joy to everyone around. For Christmas was a time full of cheer, there's still a Scrooge, it appears. Besties? <laughs> but, welcome back to today's video. As you guys know, I have been summoned to jury duty. Unpopular opinion, but I actually really like jury duty. I've served grand jury before, which was like for three months. I actually really enjoyed it because I'm in she's Molson. Like I found out some things about my town that I would have never known had I not gone to <laughs> the grand jury. But the reason why I'm mad about getting jury duty again is because, I mean, I've been summoned three times already. And it's like, I like it. But I'm, I'm done, you know, let's move on. That's why I didn't go into like criminal justice or anything like that. I think it just came at a really bad time because let's say, you know, hopefully that I was to get a job and then I would have to say, oh, by the way, I already need some days off because I have jury duty sort of thing, which I know is like your civil duty. So they wouldn't necessarily be mad about it, but still, you know, also, I don't know how long it's going to be. So it could have been like I go in today and then I'm done with it today or might not even get picked. We don't know. We'll see when we get there. Anyways, uh, the reason why I'm raging today is because my period also decided that it wants to come soon. She's like knocking on the door and I'm trying to not let her in, but she's going to find her way in anyways. Everything hurts. My boobs hurt. My legs hurt. Everything hurts. But let's go ahead. Let's go to jury duty and then we're going to turn this day around. Okay, we're going to we're going to do something about this. So let's head out. <laughs> just made it to the courthouse and i posted a poll on instagram asking you guys if you think i will be picked or not hopefully everyone that chooses no will be right i just got out of jury duty for lunch so far i have not been picked so i'm keeping my fingers crossed that don't get picked so we'll see after lunch though but for now since it's lunch time i'm gonna go to my favorite little coffee shop since it's right by here El Cafecito, you guys know i love going there hopefully there's not a big line and i can make it because we only have an hour so Okay, just got out of the coffee shop. The food hit. It was delicious. I'm in a better mood, much better. Also, I went to go check their little library to see if they had any good books, but I didn't find any that I liked. However, they had these cute little bookmarks. And look at this. This is so cute. See, this is why little notes like this, little, little acts of kindness mean so much because that made me smile. It's hot, as you can tell by my foggy lenses. All right, gonna head back to the court now. I still have plenty of time, I'm not like rushing. I was going to sit there and read a little bit, but I'm like, okay, I'll just wait till I get home. I did review the podcast, which was great because I had myself a little bit of a productive moment. Um, I did some planning for Motivational Mondays 2023, season two. So it was, it was a good little lunch break. free at last oh my god i did not get picked that was a process they took forever it is hot also so sorry if you can hear the ac I'm back home now i already ate changed out of my clothes i'm about to remove my makeup now so that i can work out because there are no days off and i'm feeling a little tired not gonna lie like not a like more mentally tired only because i've been sitting all day so i want to get my workout in let me tell you guys i was feeling like working out because you guys know i love working out so much like i know i talk about it a lot but i really do i genuinely do and so i wanted to work out but i 
was feeling lazy about getting into my workout clothes and so one thing i really really love about working out at home is that i don't have to switch into my workout clothes like i literally just got up off of my chair decided to work out i didn't even change into a sports bra i didn't even change into leggings i just worked out the way that i was and that is my favorite part that i literally do not have to go out of my way for anything i just i worked out and that works out 61 minutes 408 calories burned total 519 calories burned it was a really good workout and while all may feel right after one single day sometimes it takes more for that feeling to stay good morning i'm not having the greatest morning i hate everything i tried on a bunch of clothes and that's just some of the clothes that i tried on because i was putting some other stuff away and just i don't like anything but it doesn't matter anyways we're going to mexico today my mom and i and i'm gonna take my book so that i can do some reading i'm really not in the mood for anything nothing i've you know yesterday i was feeling on top of the world today i'm feeling not on top of the world and those are just some of the roller coasters of emotions of having a period and i'm not even on my period yet nothing just looked right so i just resulted back to my t-shirt my sweater my jeans I even tried putting on some beanies because I was like, I'm kind of in a beanie mood. But then I looked in the mirror and I was like, I'm not a beanie person today. So yeah. Anyways, my mom and I are going to go to Mexico. We're going to go pick up some tamales for a posada we're going to have later this week. So it turns out I was also hungry. Don't you worry, I am being well fed. We stopped at Jack, I got some french fries, and a breakfast Jack, and a mocha coffee. My mom is currently picking up some money that we sent over here, and Gigi is impatiently waiting for her mother to return to the car. I will update you guys much later, but after this, I believe Gigi's gonna go get her nails done. Right, Gigi? I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. Now I'm just listening to the new podcast episode. It's funny because I'll listen to it and it's almost as if I'm listening to two strangers. I'm like, I don't know who this is. As if it's not me and Nyla. <laughs> I'm currently working on The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I already started it and I love the gossipy feel to it. So I'm excited to keep reading. Oh yeah, so you read Mexican Gothic. Oh yes. Also, thanks Ugly to love. Nyla for giving me Mexican Gothic and um, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Books are a good gift. I really, if you know what type of books, like, the reader would want, because I, you know, and Crystal, uh, we barely, we literally had met for the first time when I gave her those two books. Gigi is getting her nails cut. <laughs> you can tell she is nervous. Poor thing. <laughs> Help me! Help me! A ver, Gigi, las uñas. Ooh! Freshly cut. Yesterday we went to my favorite coffee shop back at home. Today we're gonna go to my favorite coffee shop here in Mexico. It is actually a churreria and cafe, which is just 10 times better because who doesn't like churros? My favorite thing from there is to get the churros filled with Nutella and they're nice and warm. So, so good. And I also like to get just a regular mocha coffee frappuccino thing. So delicious. I'm obsessed with it. They only open at nighttime, which makes sense, but it doesn't. Because back at home, the cafes close early, but the cafes here don't open until the afternoon. Every time we come to Mexico, usually we're not here. We're too far away from it to go to it. But today, today we're going to take full advantage of us leaving a little bit later. And I'm gonna go get myself my favorite treat. Guys, I'm witnessing a deal going down right now. I'm gonna try to secretly record. Hopefully I don't get caught. I know it's my mother, but... 911. Officer! Right there! FBI! Come on in, fellas! They're right there somewhere. Buenas tardes. Este quería hacer una orden.
I am back home now and I have to face the reality of how I left this room before I left for the day. Um, you know, it's not absolutely horrible and I'm sure I can tidy this up within no time, but it's just the fact that like you leave, you come back, and you expect a clean space, but you didn't clean the space, so now I have to clean it. But also, I want to get my workout in because I'm just looking forward to that. I love working out in the morning, but the times where I do have to work out at nighttime, I actually also enjoy it because, for one, the red lights are like 10 times brighter. So it's just a whole different vibe, and it's a little change of atmosphere, which I enjoy. So let's switch into my workout gear, let's clean this up, and end this day on a high note. Third time's a charm is what they say. Let's hear for ourselves. I'll let Crystal explain. Welcome to Thursday. Today is prep day because this weekend we are going to be going out of town. I'm so excited. It's going to be a fun little time, a little trip, but we've got to prepare. It means we've got to pack. We're going to go to Goodwill real quick, see if I can find anything because I'm kind of, I want to find something cute and wintry like but also I'm not holding out hope for the Goodwill here in my town because I've never really found anything that cute here. So yeah, I might just end up having to recycle a lot of my clothes and that's fine, you know, right? Because recycling clothes, reusing them, it's best for our planet. But I'm gonna go check out Goodwill. We'll come back and then we'll get ready to pack because we've got a lot of things to do. I also gotta edit, put this video up for tomorrow. And then after that, I also do have to kind of like plan it out a little bit because I'm a planner. I like to have things planned out and know what we're gonna do and I have not done that because I've been waiting to see if I was even gonna be able to go on this trip but I'm gonna be able to go tomorrow so that's exciting but I have not planned anything and me being a planner I like to know what I'm gonna do so yeah it's kind of last minute but we'll figure it all out. We'll get this all figured out. Let's go to Goodwill. <laughs> And we're back, time to pack. Ooh, that rhymed, call me Dr. Seuss. But actually, I did find something at Goodwill, let me show you guys. So I feel like my top, it's giving very Fiona chic. <laughs> this is the top, tell me this isn't cute. This is such a cute little top, I was obsessed with it and I got it for $3.99. One thing I noticed from the Goodwills here is that everything is priced individually, like it has its own separate price. Whereas in California, all of the long sleeves were, I believe, $6, and then all of the short sleeves were $5. But all of these had their own individual pricing, which is like a good thing and a bad thing, because this one was $3.99, so I did get it much cheaper than I would have in California. But then also there were some other cute tops that were like $8, and like, it would have been cheaper in California. <laughs> okay, so after much trial and error putting things on ripping things off feeling overly bloated feeling like i hate everything feeling like nothing looks good on me i have picked out my clothes and i'm ready to go so i have everything divided here you know we have like the packs with like the shirt the bottoms the undies the bra the socks all right here so this is what i'm gonna wear tomorrow on friday this is what i'm gonna wear on saturday and then this is what i'm gonna wear on sunday on our way back since we're literally just coming back on sunday i have like travel clothes it's very very casual there's gonna be a gym you guys know i love to take full advantage of the gyms when we go to hotels so i have two pairs here for maybe tomorrow maybe saturday maybe sunday because i did not work out today i started my period today wasn't really feeling it also i have to edit pack everything so i'm like i'll just switch it for saturday and then we have sleeping clothes over here and while i pack let me share with you guys something that i've recently been loving that is romanticizing my life i feel like in the year 2022 that's when romanticizing your life really just came to be you know a lot of people were doing it and that's the first time i had ever heard of it but i really like the idea of it romanticizing your life and it's about taking those little moments that just sometimes feel so mundane so normal and turning them into big moments. For example, you know, a lunch break. Normally you probably just take your lunch break and all you can think about is you have to go back to work or it just feels boring, you know, it feels like it goes by too fast. But doing little things like 
romanticizing your lunch break, such as on Monday when I went to jury duty and I took advantage of the lunch break and I turned it into something fun. I went to my favorite little coffee shop. I had a bit of a productive day. I enjoyed my time there. I just sat there, listened to the birds, looked around, enjoyed the peacefulness. It wasn't as busy. It was just a really nice time. And just doing something like that where I romanticized that moment made that day just so much better. You know, that little moment in the entire day, but that little moment turned my day around. And then on Tuesday, you know, I was gonna get my period. I was having the pre-period symptoms. I was just feeling horrible about myself, but reading, you know, taking that time to find time to read. And then also just romanticizing that, you know, getting my coffee, having my little churrito, little coffee snack and reading. That's fun, right? Again, it's not about waiting for the big moments to happen for you to be happy. It's about taking the little moments and making them feel like big moments. By the third day all had been resolved, Crystal found joy and all felt right with the world. And what happened then? Well, some say Crystal's heart grew three sizes that day.